for 2005. Here they come. They're off, and Jersey Gal, long shots leaving here. Coolantine from the outside with early speed, and Lady Lifter on the inside, long shots to mix it up early into the first turn. The favorite, Flawless Bluestone, got away in the fourth position, settles in around the first turn. Blur is fifth as they mix it up, heading to the opening quarter, just like Dream is racing six. Hercules getting whip taps from seventh, and Courtney Hall eighth on the outside past the quarter. Reinvent and Jalopy at the back, two wide past the quarter. Coolantine and Charlie Norris clearing right there on the outside. Outside is Flawless Bluestone. Opening quarter 29 and 2. Slow early pace here. Flawless Bluestone looking to stride out and take over. On the inside, Coolantine second. Now up on the outside comes Blur and Sears looking for early position here. Uh, down on the inside, it's Jersey Gal fourth. To the outside goes Lady Lifter fifth as they head towards the half mile. Just like Dream. Underway for Campbell from sixth and joining that flow, Hercules. And then on the inside comes Reinvent jammed up near the back of the pack with uh, Courtney Hall joining the flow fourth over at this point. July at the back of the pack, it's Blur. Past the half in 58 and three, a dawdling clip in this crown, and it's Blur taking on Lady Lifter. Flawless Bluestone left in the box and locked in around the far turn, just like Dream. Perfect second over there with Campbell. Hercules tracking her third over. On the inside, it's a reinvent uh, locked in as they race past three quarters. Coolantine, rather, is locked in on the rail six. The stride for stride there with uh, Hercules. And fourth over, and looking to fan out is Courtney Hall. Nowhere to go for Jersey Gal. Then it's reinvent near the back with Jalopy trying to do it from last to first. Fans out. 127 at four. End of the stretch. It's Blur drawing the crowd. Flawless Blues Dawn is locked in. It's Blur. And now swinging off cover after a dream trip. It's just like Dream and Camel with open road. Hercules on the outside. Blur is still there. Just like Dream. And now getting loose. Flawless Blue Zone. Here comes Flawless Blue Stone. Too late. Blur got it. Blur. Flawless Blue Stone. Then just like Dream. One. 56 and 1. The sense the pick three three two three twenty nine ten. The beaten favorite in the Hamiltonian Oaks finished second in that prestigious event, but bounces back to win the Breeders' Crown final here tonight. It's Blur, who held on by a nose to win her elimination and held on tonight for Brian Sears and Tron Smedshammer, who make it three in a row in this division winning the previous two with stroke play and house that Ruth Bill. Both division champions. Blur will make a bid for divisional honors here with this rather decisive victory in the crown tonight. Her fifth win of the season, 156 and one. It's back-to-back -back crown victories tonight for Brian Sears and Tron Smedshammer. And the third of the season for Brian Sears. Making our trophy presentation, Mr. Lee DeVisser, Hamiltonian Society Director, and of course part of the Lee and Linda DeVisser partnership, the only the uh, pacer that won three times in the Breeders' Crown, Jenna's Beach Boy. Of course, the DeVisser's part of that ownership. And Blur takes this finale in 156 and 1. Post time for race 8 in 19 minutes at 10.18. No changes in the 8th. Breeders' Crown Final for 3-year-old Philly Pacers. Exacta trifecta pick 3, 8-1.